Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about music. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Imagine an incredibly powerful wealthy person who secretly prospers from conflict, disease and war, learns that certain sound frequencies, those easily divisible by two, signifying opposition, create conflict, discord and disharmony, while those divisible by three, signifying balance, polity, reconciliation, harmony, produce symmetry, and visually harmonic pleasing structures. Now imagine that he has the power to establish the tuning standard of all musical instruments throughout the Western world. Imagine that he bases the entire scale of musical artistic creation upon a frequency which would skew vibrations towards discord. It sounds like science fiction. Yet this is exactly what transpired in September 1939, when Rockefeller financial interests dictated that the standard tuning for the note of A above middle C, would henceforth be set to vibrate at precisely 440 cycles per second. This unnatural standard tuning frequency, removed from the symmetry of sacred vibrations and overtones, has declared war on the subconscious mind of Western man. The standard tuning fork, which is set to vibrate the note A, above middle C, at 440 cycles per second, is based upon a frequency only divisible by two rather than three, which means that all of the musical notes both above and below it are affected. Despite the apparent sweet music a symphony orchestra can produce, when all instruments are tuned based on the A equals 440 Hz key frequency, they are covert weapons, no matter what music they may be playing. These destructive frequencies entrain the thoughts towards disruption, disharmony, disunity. Additionally, they also stimulate the controlling organ of the body, the brain, into disharmonious resonance, which ultimately creates disease and war. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In a paper entitled Musical Cult Control, Dr. Leonard Horowitz writes, the music industry features this imposed frequency that is hurting populations into greater aggression, psychosocial agitation, and emotional distress predisposing people to physical illness, while the agents of this conspiracy provide therapeutic pacification in the form of myriad psychotropic drugs and tranquilizers for the stress they purposely created, and chemotherapy for the more serious illnesses it inspires. He says, energy or vibration impacts life or biology and our bodies through the most common medium of life, water. Our body weight, which is nearly 80% water, vibrates and resonates to frequencies, and frequencies entrain our physical matter as well as thought processes. Light and sound have been shown as the primary drivers of intercellular communication, which indicates that our health, or lack of it, may indeed be a product of the vibrational resonance of sound and light. As noted, the Rockefeller Alliance chose to determine the musical factors capable of producing psychopathology, emotional distress, and mass hysteria. The initial effort to make A equals 440 Hz the basis of standard tuning took place in 1910, when the R Foundation issued a grant to the American Federation of Musicians to popularize the concept. The initial effort failed. However, the BSI British Standards Institute officially adopted A equals 440 Hz in 1939, promoted by the strange consortium of R Foundation influence and the Nazi government. 
Ironically, the British adopted a tuning standard promoted by the Third Reich, just as both went to war. While 440 Hz had been rejected by British musicians only three months prior, Joseph Goebbels persuaded the BSI to adapt 440 Hz, saying it was of extraordinary importance. As Dr. Leonard Horowitz concludes, music bioenergetically affects your body chemistry, psychoneuroimmunology, and health. Your body is now vibrating musically, audibly and subliminally, according to an institutionally imposed frequency in harmony with aggression and in dissonance, rather than vibrating in harmony with love. Musical instrument tuning using the artificially imposed standard of A equals 440 Hz may promote physical and mental disease and distrust, while effectively suppressing spirituality, intuition and creativity. This universal tuning frequency has been empirically shown to suppress the creative intuitive aspects of our mind, while negatively affecting our body chemistry and our immune systems. I don't know if anyone can prove a direct link between aggression, disassociation, paranoia and violence to a tuning system that was promoted by both the and the Third Reich. However, just the fact that these two entities came together to push the standard is more than suspicious in my mind. Although more than a few people have made the connection between the music of John Philip Sousa and his marching music as a stimulus to war, that specific link is in reference to composition, not frequency and vibration based on a tuning system. Intuitively, I think my sources are correct. But how does one go about proving that a specific frequency tuning is creating social stress, disharmony or physical violence and war? But the fact that the and the Third Reich pushed this tuning standard over the opposition of British musicians makes it suspicious, even sinister. The Rockefeller Axis, their money and research, imposed this artificial tuning standard upon mankind for the purpose of creating chaos. It continues to this day to funnel our minds and emotions along paths of negativity. It is high time for new good vibrations to become ascendant and a new standard of vibrational tuning to emerge. It is time for the power of love to triumph. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.